Coffee cups and cigarettes laying around the room. I don't mind a little mess, just wanna stay with you, ooh, ooh, and we'll do anything that we want. <laughs> What's up guys? We are in protective styling mode. I told you I was going to be doing a lot more protective styles uh, this winter. I just have a lot going on right now and so instead of stressing out over my hair, I figured, you know what? I'm gonna put my hair into a protective style. I'm gonna try and make these last for like four weeks. I don't know how that's gonna work out. But also I still have a lot of breakage at my roots and I really want to do my best to grow that out. So I always tell people like if you're feeling frustrated with your hair, or you feel like you're not making progress, then to just stop what you're doing and leave it alone, put in a protective style. I'm taking my own advice on that one and today we are going to be doing the Havana Marley twist. It's like pretty much the same technique. The only difference is what kind of hair you use. And I'm actually using both Havana and Marley hair. Well, the generic version of Havana, which is the Cubana or Cuban hair that you can buy at the beauty supply. I kind of mixed them all together, so I'm calling this a little bit of both. And I did the invisible part method. I think that's what you call it. It took me a really long time to learn this method. I think I got four twists done in four hours, so I was like pretty much doing like one twist an hour. <laughs> that's how long it took me to learn it. But then once I finally got it down, it was so easy. So I'm gonna try to break it down into steps so that you guys can kind of learn it, hopefully right away, and it won't take you four hours to learn it. That was kind of like frustrating. I was like, nah, we're braiding it. We're braiding the roots. We're gonna braid it, and we're gonna go into twists. And then I was like, no, Whitney, do not give up on your dreams. And so I finally got it. And so I'm really stoked about that. And so, yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. After I got over my initial situation of learning how to do this, it took me about 10 hours to do my entire head. And these are kind of, they're not humongous. They're, they're kind of like, well, I guess they are big. I've seen bigger, but I guess these are big twists. Medium to large twists took me about 10 hours uh, over the span of three days. Unfortunately, I didn't have a 10 hour chunk to just sit here and just do it all at once because, well, life and work, kids, just didn't have that time. So I was able to do it over three days, um, a couple hours at a time, totaling 10 hours. Um, trying to think of any other questions you guys might have that I did not cover already in the video. It's not heavy, it just has a little bit of weight. So, I mean, obviously your natural hair is gonna be lighter, but you do know that you have like extra hair on your head. I like it. Yes! <laughs> I'm clearly really excited about these twists. It's just nice to have something different, you know? So I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> Bye! All right, so you'll want to get yourself prepped. You'll need an oil-based cream, a non-drying gel, a wide tooth comb, a normal tooth comb, some hair clips. This is optional, but a lighter. And I also did a light trim, so I'm gonna use some hair shears. I used a little over five bags of Marley hair and five bags of Cuban twist hair. But if you want to use something different, just use these numbers as a reference. The last item you'll definitely want is your spray bottle filled with water and a bit of natural conditioner. Okay, so it's helpful to prep the hair beforehand. I first washed all the hair in an apple cider vinegar bath to save my scalp from getting itchy. Once all the hair is washed, I'm gonna prep little bundles for each twist. That way I can continue twisting without having to stop and go. So for me, each twist consisted of two Cuban hair sections and two Marley hair sections. Optional, trim your Marley hair to your desired length. I didn't want my twist to be too long. I spray the synthetic hair with the water and conditioner mix to moisturize, and I'm sealing it all in with my shea butter mix. Why? Well, because this hair is really dry, and so we wanna soften it, but also so that it doesn't leach moisture from our natural hair once twisted. So moisturize and seal all the hair, and then comb it out. Now this is most important on the Marley hair. We need to get rid of that curly texture so our twist will look smooth and uniform. And this also helps to give it more volume. So comb the hair out completely, making sure those ends are nice and tapered. The Cuban hair is much shorter than the Marley, so we're overlapping the two pieces slightly to give it more length and then combine it with the Marley hair. And that's it. That's all the hair you'll need for one twist. Hang that off to the side and prep as many more sections as you can. And I usually do this in bulk to save time. So I like combining the Marley and the Cuban because the Cuban hair tends to be really rough and dry, but it's nice and voluminous. While the Marley hair is not at all voluminous, but it's a bit more soft and silky and has more shine. So I feel more comfortable installing that rough Cuban hair if I have a layer of Marley hair to help soften it a bit. Also, the combination of the two looks a lot more realistic to my natural hair texture and sheen than either of them separately. 
So once your sections are all prepped, you can start twisting. I find it easiest to twist on clean, dry, and stretched hair. So I stretch it overnight in a heatless curl former set. I twist the hair from bottom to top in horizontal rows with nice clean parts so there's no snagging on my hair. So part a clean row and secure the rest of the hair out of the way. And I like to work in sections from front to back with the sections in the front being slightly smaller than the ones in the back. Re-moisturizing the section with your water and conditioner mix and then seal that in with your shea butter mix or your sealant of choice. Gently detangling with the wide tooth comb. And this is optional, but I'm growing out color damage and I'm in need of a trim again. So going back in with my regular comb to really make sure those tangles are out and then trimming off the damage. If you don't have damage, skip this. But if you do, and you're doing this protective style to help your hair grow, you'll wanna be sure to trim off that damage. Now I'm planning for my hair to be covered for a while, so I'm gonna make sure my ends are completely sealed in with my shea butter cream. So I'm gonna focus that on my ends and then bring it up the rest of the section, being pretty generous with the butter. Using a gel that's not gonna dry out your hair, I'm applying that to the section to control any flyaways and to help it stick to that synthetic hair while twisting. So now split the section in half and install your synthetic hair, blending it with your natural hair and twisting to the bottom. But don't worry, we're gonna go over this in detail. I just want you to see what we're doing completely first. So twist the hair to the bottom and you can keep this the natural length of your hair or you can clip it to your desired length like I did, burning the ends to seal it. You just obviously don't wanna burn your natural hair. And I'm gonna show you a new burning method that I used in the next video, but for now you can just use the normal lighter method where you burn the ends and then roll it between your fingers to seal it. All right, so now I'll show you the twisting details on this next section. So we've already moisturized, sealed, gelled, all that good stuff. It's time to twist. So you're gonna split the section in half and you're gonna figure out which side goes over first. Since my right side goes over my left side first, I'm gonna focus on the right side. So holding the right side in my hand, I'm gonna take the synthetic bundle by the middle, place it directly over the right side, and then I'm gonna twist my right section out and around the bundle, twisting the bundle into my right section while twisting outward. And you wanna keep twisting until the hair gets tight to the root. Now that the hair is tight to the root and not too tight, you're gonna pick up the other side and add it to the other side of the synthetic bundle. And then you're gonna twist like normal. So bring that right side up and over that left side. And before you do anything else, you're gonna twist the left side outwards a few times to lock the hair in place. Now immediately twist that left side back over to lock the hair in place and start the twist. Now just make sure to twist each section outward before twisting it over. That's gonna help lock the hair in place and create that rope twist look. After you've formed a few rows, you wanna clip the twist near the root so the hair doesn't move as you twist. If you don't do this, your root's gonna keep twisting and it might be a bit painful, so definitely clip it. So now just continue twisting down and with each twist, remember to twist outwards and then over. So twist out, bring it over, and you wanna bring it over and pull down to keep that nice straight twist line. And I'll also apply a bit of gel every now and then to help control flyaways on the synthetic hair and to get my natural hair to stick to that synthetic hair more easily. And it also makes it nice and shiny. So just keep twisting to the bottom until you can't twist anymore. Give it a little twirl, release that clip at the root, and you can see how flawless your roots look. And you can't tell there's synthetic hair added at all. Perfect invisible roots. Now just trim the length if you need to and burn the ends to seal. All right, so I'm just gonna show this one more time. After you prep the hair, split the section in half. Figure out which side goes over first. It's my right side, so I'm grabbing that. Grab your bundle by the middle, place it directly over that right section, bring the right side up and twist outward to blend the hair together. Keep twisting until it's close to the root. Now pick up the other section of hair and add it to the other side of the synthetic bundle. Now twist like normal, bringing the right side over the left side and immediately twist the left side outwards to lock the hair in place. And then twist the left side back over the right side to lock everything in place and form the twist pattern. Now just keep twisting until you have enough space to place a clip. 
and twist down the length of the hair, making sure to twist each section outward before twisting it over. A little bit of gel when needed to smooth and control, and you may need to detangle with your fingers every now and then as you twist down. Twist to the very end. Remove your clip, trim the length and seal the ends if you want to, and move on. Now just repeat this process to the remaining sections all over your head. Like I said, this took a total of 10 hours, a couple hours a night, and once I mastered this technique, it was a super easy process. We wanna be Gonna get what's coming anyway So take me away So that's it! That's how you do Havana Marley twists like a pro. Roots look flawless, your twist looks super healthy and realistic. It's not too heavy and has a good amount of movement. And just know that it loosens up over time, so there'll be even more movement the more you wear it. I love these twists. And better yet, I love that I won't have to style my hair for four weeks. Say word. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope the steps are easy to understand and visualize. We crossed the borderline into our dream. Nothing will ever be. As real as this. Definitely give it a try. Instagram and or tweet me if you're successful at this. I would love to see all of your recreations. Alright guys, I gotta go, but I will see you in the next one. If you missed my last video, it's how I get the look of a sleek, tight bun without any of the pain, discomfort, or damage. And I also included a really easy DIY to protect your donut buns with a satin covering. So if you wanna check that out, you can click the link on top. And if you like daily vlogs, you can click the link on the bottom and come hang out with me and the family. All right guys, see you there.